Right, we're back to finish up with the last side. And if you want to watch me cut it, great. If not, just fast forward it to the part where we insert it. Okay, we're using the Dermal Multi Max, just in case you're wondering. We have it set at six. We started it out on two, though, to get a start. <laughs> Okay, so once you have it cut completely through, your piece should come completely out, just like that. All right. Now you want to sweep out all your sawdust to get it out of the way. Once that's done, we're going to install the door. Okay, now that you have it all cut out and everything, you're going to take your door that's completely together and you're going to put it in that hole. Now, you don't want to put this in your hole until after you have your siding on. That way it goes behind the siding. Sorry about that. I didn't realize I moved the camera. So basically, you're going to put it in the hole just like that. You want to make it a smidge bit bigger so that you don't have to fight to get it in there. Once you get it in there, your door should open and close. Then when you come on the interior, you'll have to put your molding around on the inside. Okay, and your siding should make up for most of this, and your molding will cover the rest. Okay, just to kind of give you an idea with the carpet in there. Well, I just threw the window away. That wasn't what I was intending to do. Let's try that again. All right, so that's what it would look like as a French set of doors and an addition. All right, thanks a lot for watching and follow Laurie on Dollhouse Miniature Madness and Tutorials on Facebook and Meet the Needs Curriculum's blog on the internet. Have a great day.